everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a video all about our wonderful dads. I am going to show you five easy and quick and cheap DIY gifts that you can give your dad this Father's Day. In Australia, Father's Day is actually this weekend. Other countries around the world, um, Father's Day lands on a different day of the year. And I believe it's in June. But for Australians, we have Father's Day on the first weekend in September. So that's this weekend, which also means that spring is coming. I'm so excited that spring is almost here because I'm just over this winter. Before I get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And while you're there, click that little notification bell as well to be notified every time a video goes live. And with all that said, let's get into the video. first one is probably my absolute favorite and it's this little tackle box um, kit now you can do this in different varieties you can do like an emergency kit you can cater and change it to suit um, what the male figure in your life um, actually likes and enjoys my husband loves fishing especially with the family and especially with my son now that he's at a perfect age where he understands and he likes to enjoy those sort of activities so I thought this would be a really cute idea for Father's Day. So what I've done is taken a little clear like storage box um, that you can get very cheaply at any craft store or discount store. Um, there wasn't dear at all. I think this one was like $5.99. And what I've done inside is just on a piece of blue paper, I just wrote the words Dad's Tackle Box. Again, you can specialize this or personalize this um, to suit your male figure or father or husband, um, depending on what their interests are. It doesn't have to be a tackle box, but I thought this actually does look like a little bit of a tackle box, which is why I've used like a storage box. And inside, I've just filled it with all of his favorite yummy treats. And I've also kind of made it look like a tackle box. Worm lollies, which you can use for bait. I've used string lollies, um, so that looks like the, you know, the fishing line. Frogs, because I couldn't find actual fish. And these little, like, rocks that looks like the um, weight on the fishing line. And I found this little mince. It's actually called Fisherman's Friend Mince. So I thought that was really cute and perfect to add to the box. And just underneath that, I've just added a little thing of um, Tic Tacs um, to finish it up. So that is what the end result looked like. I was super, super happy with it. And I think my husband will really enjoy it. And I'm sure the kids will get into this as well and eat it with him too. So definitely a really cute idea. Again, you can personalize it and change it up to suit your dad or husband. The next one I'm going to show you is... Um, really simple but a really cute idea and I just got this idea from Pinterest. I absolutely love Pinterest. It gives me so much inspiration ideas, especially for things like this. So I will link down um, the printable that I printed out for this DIY. What it is, is just the Father's Day coupon book. And I'm sure you've seen these around everywhere for different occasions. Um, this one is obviously for Father's Day. But what I did is just print it out cut out all the coupons. I think there was 12 in total. So obviously if you want more, you can just print extra copies. Or if you want less, just do one page rather than two pages. Cause I do believe it prints out in two pages. And then once you have cut it out, to hole punch the top part of your little coupons. A little tip for this is to put all the coupons together. So the whole looks the same on all of the coupons. Um, and once you've done that, you just add a little cute bow to it and you have your coupons. Obviously, you need to write um, what these coupons are good for. So a couple of things that we came up with is help in the garden, a super big hug, one kiss, taking out the trash, pizza night, dinner of your choice and an afternoon nap. So the idea of these little coupons is that um, it's like a little treat for the father or the husband. So anytime he wants to use a coupon, he just has to 
tear it or cut it off and give it to the person that gifted it to him and he gets to fulfill that wish on the coupon. So for instance, if he really needed a big hug on a particular day, he just needs to whip out his little coupon book, cut it out and hand this over to the person that he wants a super big hug to and he will get that super big hug. So it's a really cute idea and um, a really cheap and easy and fun way to DIY a gift. I'm also going to get the kids to colour these little coupons in um, to make it look even nicer. I'm them to do this afternoon as a little craft activity that we can do together. So they'll be super cute and they'll really enjoy colouring this in and knowing that they did help put this little gift together for Dad. The next one is super simple and easy to do and there's different ways that you can do this one. Um, if you don't want to DIY it yourself, you can just go out and actually buy one and still have it personalized. So what I'm referring to is just a little keychain. Still buy a Father's Day keychain and just have like the little plaque part of it DIY with their name or a little message and that will still be super cute. And what I use is just these wooden beads and I just had the words best dad spelt out with them. I did use a couple of colored beads because they're it's just what we had in our collection. I didn't have them all um, in the same color, but I thought it gave a really nice touch to have a little yellow and blue um, color pop in the keychain. And then once you have all the letters, then you just need to measure out the string, making sure it's long enough for all your letters that you're going to use for your keychain. Cut it off and just thread through all the wooden letters. So it's really simple and easy to do. Then cut off the end and then you just need to get one of these little keychain um, loops or hoops, tied it onto the string and there you have it. You have a beautiful, cute and personalized little keychain for dad. And it's so special if you can get your kids to actually thread it and make it themselves. My kids are a little bit too young to do this, but when they get a bit older, I'm sure they'll want to try this out for themselves and thread it themselves. Next activity I absolutely love and I think it's so unique and special. And it's this one here. So this is called Building Memories with Dad. Christopher has really got it into Legos lately. He's absolutely obsessed and he loves playing Legos with us as well. So I thought this would be really fitting and um, appropriate for a Father's Day gift. So what you need for this one is a little jar, a little glass jar. It can be any size depending on how many um, little Legos you want to put inside. You need a little tag to attach it, some string, and you also need, because I didn't want to actually write on the Legos itself, um, because we wanted, I want to recycle it, I want him to be able to use the Legos um, in the future and not just have it for this gift. Um, so instead of actually writing on the Legos directly, what I got is just some of those labels, those little white labels that you can, they're like sticky labels, so I just cut them in half and actually wrote the little um, activities on the labels itself and then stuck them on the Legos. And that is pretty much all you need. So the idea of this is activities to do with dad. So you can choose whether you do this like a daily activity or if you do this like on weekends. But dad gets to pick out a little Lego activity to do with the family or with their son or with their child, whatever the case may be. And as you take them out, you're meant to build them, make a little structure with all the different activities that you are doing together. I just think this is a really cute idea to do fun activities with your family and do it in a really fun way. And you can actually see all the activities that you're doing together. I'll leave some other activities that I came up with in the description bar if you need some ideas. And the very last one is a little like frame or craft activity for your dad or husband that your kids could actually probably do themselves. So what you need for this one is just some hard cardboard, um, any size of your choosing, it doesn't have to be this particular size. What I did is got some really nice scrap paper and cut out the letters, you rock my world. This particular scrapbook was really, scrap paper was really cool because it actually had little circles on it. So instead of cutting out the O's, I just used the circles on the scrap paper as the O's. And then 
what I'm going to get the kids to actually do. I haven't actually glued this down as yet. Is I bought a whole bag of rocks I got from just like a discount shop. Um, so what I'm going to do is get some hot glue gun. Obviously, I'll do the hot glue gun. But I'll just get them to arrange it around the edges of this frame or cardboard to make it like a frame. So they'll just glue it on and make a little craft project for them. I think that was really cute. You can also add some photos of you and the kids or the, you know, your dad and the kids or your husband and the kids around the border as well. And then just have the rocks on the end like so. And you can also frame this in a really cute frame or you can even use this like a card. So instead of just putting on a one cardboard piece, you can do this as a cover for a card. So that's another cute idea for dad this year. And that is the end of my video and my five DIY craft activities for Father's Day this year. I hope it's given you some inspiration ideas for your father this year if you have forgotten to get a gift or you're still kind of thinking of a gift idea. I hope this has helped in some way. If you have liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos from me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.